what an afternoon we could have for you. We don't need to be a, a rocket scientist to know that if Kettering Town win this afternoon, then they will win the league. And even if they draw and uh, Stabridge can't win at Needham Market, the title will also be Kettering Town. So we'll be keeping you updated if we can with that uh, scoreline. And uh, let's hope that uh, come 10 to 5 tonight that uh, we are running around celebrating uh, another fantastic day in Kettering Town's history. Kettering Town team line up like this in goal is uh, number one Paul White, five Gary Storer, six Michael Richards, seven Lyndon Meikle, eight Aaron O'Connor, nine Dan Holman, eleven Reese Honus, twelve Dion Kelly Evans, fourteen and in the side from last week Marcus Kelly, fifteen Declan Towers and 19 is Craig Stanley. Your subs today are two, James Brighton, three, Ben Tosland, four, Brett Salkin, 10, Ben Mills, and 18, Nathaniel Rowe Turner. Just this Ash uh, Carter with this uh, free kick uh, midway in the Alchurch half, pumps it forward. There's Towers Lloyd wins the header, and there's uh, the new signing, and it goes for a corner. So corner about to be come in then, taken by Tom Triton, and uh, it comes in low, headed out. It's a goal! Unmarked, 1-0, just what the Poppies didn't want, and they are behind straight away here, and that has quietened down this massive Alatima Park crowd, and uh, Paul White easily beaten there from a, a set piece, and... Uh, it is a, a shock to the system. Stora lets the ball bounce, pumps the ball forward towards O'Connor. O'Connor's there, takes the touch. Oh, Finds another touch here, might try a shot, does, comes in low. Oh, and that's just pushed wide by uh, Dan Crane. I thought it was going to creep in. Great strike from O'Connor. Honus turns, plays it to Kelly Evans. Good football here from Ketrin on the edge of the penalty area. Plays it to Honus inside the penalty area. Honus puts the ball, handball caught that. And that, uh, he caught it. An unbelievable decision by the referee not to give that. And... Uh, the first contentious decision there against Ketrin. And uh, he puts it into play now. It's a poor corner though. And it uh, goes only to Honus. Honus plays it uh, back uh, to... Uh, no, he doesn't. He plays it back to Kelly on the edge. Kelly puts one in here. There's Towers. Towers in. Yes. Brilliant save. There by Crane from Towers header he palms it he palms it down to O'Connor only had to touch the ball into the net and somehow he put the ball over the bar that should have been 1-1 so Marcus Kelly uh, back on corner duty he didn't play last week at Leyston due to a muscle spasm but he's uh, deemed fit enough to play this afternoon he's down here on our right hand side puts the ball in it loops their back post headed out by Lloyd there's Meikle, might try a long ranger, puts one in here. There's a Holman back flick, oh! and that just goes wide of Crane's goal. Roberts, uh, the signing from uh, Hereford, he puts the ball back to the number three Foster. Here's Lloyd again, the shot comes in here. Paul White has to hit the ball over. Opportunist shot there from Josh Marsh from... Roberts flicks the ball through, oh, Roberts comes through, it's two against one here, Roberts comes through here, Paul White under pressure, in he comes, shoots, great save from Paul White who chests it back down but only towards Roberts who gets the ball back in towards the number 11 and he can only put the ball out for a goal kick but a fantastic save there from Paul White. And Willits are back with the ball again under pressure from Honus, he plays it back to Crane, Crane uh, comes out, skews it and that should go for a, that was a, an absolute unbelievable <laughs> blooper there yeah, from the goal. That's what you're going to get, unfortunately. That's um, you know, it's the referee's discretion, isn't it? That's uh, they'll 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 play to that as much as they can. The ball is uh, ended up with Paul White as Morrison comes down to bad ball though from Paul White. There's a lob come in here. This might go in. It's gone in. It's hit the bar. My word! There's a clearance met to Josh March who lumped the ball straight back. It looked like it was going in. It bounced just in front of the six-yard box and bounced onto the bar. That should have been two-nil. Wow, that was a, a chance which you'll see on the highlights that they should have gone in there. And Roberts, Roberts is going into the book here for remonstrating with the referee, disagreeing with the decision, and uh, finds himself going into the book for uh, 
remonstrating with the referee. Headed out by Willits. Meikle underneath trying to find O'Connor. Willits is there though. There's O'Connor having to go out wide. Nobody with him. Plays the ball back towards Stora. Stora's got the ball, does well. Plays the ball square. And that is put out of play by Tonks for another Ketrin Town corner. Mark chests it down. Puts the ball through here. Roberts. Roberts has got a chance here. Comes inside Paul White. Paul White did exceptionally well by Paul White. Two digs at it by Roberts, but Paul White holds his ground. Being marshalled by Willits, wins that easily. Richards gets the ball back to Ketrin towards Holman. Holman, he's got overlapping Kelly, putting forward towards uh, O'Connor. Oh, O'Connor, I thought it was a goal all the way, and wow, what a save from the uh, keeper in purple, in, in pink. And uh, a good start there for Ketrin. Corner to be taken by Kelly. But the, in it comes, it is a high corner hit. It's going to be a, a shot here to Storr. Storr puts the ball in. There's Holman. Off the yeah. It's a goal. Well, it's not. Congratulated. If so, that's his first goal for the club. And Ketrin are back in it. Stanley gets the goal that Ketrin have waited for. What? Unbelievable, and all of a sudden the place has come alive. Which is good. And uh, Meikle fires the ball away, but it's bounced back towards Lloyd. Lloyd turns, might try a shot, does a double shuffle, fires one in. It comes off. Here's Roberts, he's in here. Paul White, and uh, that just goes wide of the post. Stora then gets the ball, flicks it on towards Honus. Honus comes through, he's in here. Honus puts the ball in, he comes the wrong way. Oh. Brilliant save there again between the goalkeeper and a. An Alf Church defender is in. Holman's with him. Morrison uh, is fouling Holman all the way. Nothing given by the referee. And he loses it. This could be danger for Ketrin as Bellis comes forward. Gets it through to the number 12, Landell. Landell in penalty. Put the ball square. Shot comes in. Through Paul's one. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's game over. Off we go game to over. Off the hell, Owen. Ball through Paul White's legs from close range. And 2-1 to Alf Church, who's uh, fans behind the goal, go wild. Kelly now can take this uh, corner kick. Let's hope there's confusion in there. There's a melee. Let's hope it's a toe poke. Who cares? But it is going to come in now. It's uh, Kelly, Paul White there. Someone needs to head the ball in. in. It comes there. Paul White's there. It comes in. It goes in. And uh, there's a melee, and the referee says a free kick, a foul on the goalkeeper. Brett Sulkin and co. saying no way, but uh, that is what the referee has given. And uh, the uh, Alf Church officials are showing their watches at the linesman, and uh, they are now time wasting as much as possible to uh, waste as much time as they can despite Ian Long here saying how much time has gone. They're not doing themselves any favours at all here by uh, time wasting, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. I think the result is uh, going to be a loss for Ketrin Town. That's their fourth home defeat. And it's not Fortress Rock and Road, Rock and Road, uh, Latimer Park. And uh, disappointment for the 1,500 fans that have come down today. Kick been taken, flicked on. Lloyd has the ball, but he gives it to Kelly. Kelly needs to get the ball back in, and uh, somehow the bounce beat him. And that's it. It's all over. Ketrin Town do not win the championship. They are not the champions. They have lost 2-1 in front of 1,500. And Alf Church become the only team of the top five to beat Ketrin this season. Two shots at goal, and uh, really... Those are two shots, too many for Ketrin, especially in the second half.